Step 1. Hoisting the jib. The jib comes up simply with attaching a cleat to the head of the sail. It is then raised by a halyard, also known as a line, on the side of the mast. Step 2. Hoisting the mainsail. You are now seeing Will and Emmanuel tie a stopper knot to the head of the mainsail. The stopper knot is used to hold the mainsail to the top of the mast and also used in hoisting. The head of the mainsail is raised to the top of the mast along the luff. Emmanuel is now going to place the mainsail in the track along the back side of the mast. He will begin to hoist the mainsail. At this point, the foot of the sail must be attached to the track along the boom. Will and Emmanuel are now pulling the mainsail by the clue to the end of the boom. Once the foot of the mainsail is secure in the track, Will then secures the clue. The clue sheet is strung through the clue and along the boom where it is then cleated. A stopper knot is then tied to the end of the clue sheet to avoid the sail from loosening. Step 3. Launching the boat. In high wind situations, it is best to avoid hoisting the mainsail before launching the vessel. Otherwise, the boat could overturn on dry land, thus causing it severe damage. Will then finishes hoisting the mainsail and ties the main sheet using a cleat located on the mast. Will is now finishing tightening the mainsail so that it reaches the top of the mast. This allows the boat to perform optimally in any wind condition. At this time, the tiller can now be put into the boat and the centerboard can be dropped. Now that your boat is fully rigged, you are ready to sail away.